Hey, hey, Taurus, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your August 2022 full moon reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. Today we'll dive into the collective energy of Taurus and take a look at what is going on around this August 11th full moon in the sign of Aquarius. So just a friendly reminder, these are general readings. Please do take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are interested in a personal reading or even entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right, so Taurus, this full moon happens to land in your 10th house of career, ambition, leadership, and technology. So we may be focused on that energy, but please take it as it resonates. So we do have Scorpio, Capricorn, and Leo. Now you may have these additional placements in your chart, Taurus. You could be dealing with others that have those placements in, in their chart, or this is just you embodying the energies. Now, right away, we have go deeper. I feel like this is about you really revisiting some deep emotions that you have. Now, it could certainly be around the energy of ambition. It could be around career and leadership, possibly health goals. This can be relationships, especially the relationship with self, because I am focusing on uh, self-love, or I feel like the self-love energy is something you've been trying to culminate a little bit more of, Taurus, but going deeper is going to be very beneficial around this full moon in Aquarius. This is about you taking a look at the motives behind why you want the things that you want. It'd be a perfect time to uh, create maybe a career vision board, a health goal board, or even focus on the relationships and how you can bring a sense of strengthening bonds or deepness between you and others. Next, we have unleash your kindest self. Yes, this is a Capricorn energy. This is about you showing yourself love, kindness, and compassion. And when you start to show yourself that, you're going to see that it's reflected back to you by possibly complete strangers, maybe by uh, employers that you work with, employees, and also uh, family members all around you. What you think about, you bring about, and you're going to start to see your world shifting from the inside out. So unleashing your kindest self is going to be very beneficial, especially when it does come to uh, leadership, leadership skills. Now, we can be a leader without having that sense of arrogance or having that sense of ego. Uh, leadership isn't about arrogance or ego. It's about being the best version of yourself to help other people learn so you can teach in a constructive, kind way. It doesn't mean don't set boundaries. I feel like a lot of you are focusing on bringing a sense of leadership to all areas of your life. It's about you taking charge. It wouldn't be surprising if we seen that emperor showing up in your reading. Now we have this Leo energy. It says, go wild. This is shooting for the stars regarding your career. If you want to make a big, bold change or a big, bold move, now is the perfect time to do so. If you want to step up and take the lead in a certain area of your life, now is the perfect time to do so. If you felt lack of energy, you're going to hit that on button where I feel like you're going from zero to 60 quite quickly here, Taurus. So get ready because things are shifting for you in that uh, career sector or the leadership sector of your life. So let's dive in here and take a look and see where your energy is currently at and what it is that you're celebrating around this moon. There he is, the emperor right away flipped over on top. First card. I knew it. This is about taking charge. You are completely ready for others of you. This can be a, a leader. This can be somebody of higher authority in your life. Now, this could even be a father figure, a paternal figure. For a lot of you, it's a boss or it's somebody who makes the calls, make the, makes the shots. This could be you. It could be somebody else of authority, but you are going deeper. If you are hitting a surface level in a career, you may see that this boss energy comes in and says, we've been noticing, Taurus, that you've been really putting a lot of effort and energy. We like your worth work ethic, we're going to give you a raise. We're going to give you a promotion. Uh, this can be if you're an entrepreneur or a small business owner, it's the perfect time to step out and show them what you're made of, Taurus, because you're very, very strong. You're very powerful. And you do have this natural leadership 
quality about you that other people admire. There's a sense of order, stability, and structure that other people uh, take and they trust. And I feel like, yes, it's very important to question, but I feel like other people don't necessarily question because you're not coming from a place of dominance. You're coming from a place of wanting to really grow, learn, and help others. Keep that mindset and you will go far. So I love this, how it showed up, <clears throat> excuse me, right away for you. Let's take a look and see what it is that you're celebrating around this full moon. I feel like you're definitely celebrating some sort of career move. Uh, okay, it looks like you could be celebrating some sort of ending. Okay, an ending of an old cycle, something that may have been difficult for you. Perhaps it was an old job, maybe an old relationship. Perhaps it was something regarding your health, maybe lack of motivation, lack of energy. The Ten of Swords energy, this aligns perfectly with that Aquarius full moon, that air, because the swords is air energy. So there's something in your head that you've been going over and over and over, and it may have stopped you in your tracks, Taurus, and it may have actually um, stopped you from moving forward or making some sort of decision. You're saying, nope, not any longer. I am taking action and uh, I'm finally moving forward. You're going deeper and be kind. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others because you're letting something go. That's what you are celebrating. So this is some powerful stuff coming in for you. Let's take a look and see what you should focus on manifesting during this moon cycle. What is it that you're going to focus your energy on? Wow, two major arcana showing up. Beautiful. This literally is double endings. Even though something may have been uh, difficult, it may have been a little bit bittersweet, I just heard as well. The world says that you're going to feel a sense of fulfillment, completion, accomplishment. There's a cycle that you felt set back in or you felt stuck or maybe even lack of closure that is finally wrapping up. This is about a happy ending, a completion. When the world comes into view, it's time to go back to that uh, new beginning, that full energy of a fresh start, taking that leap of faith into a new direction. One that is going to bring, I feel, higher pay, more success, more um, completion here, but also a sense of fulfillment that maybe has been missing for a while. So definitely focus on happy endings, focus on victory, reward, celebrations. The more that you focus on that, the more you're going to manifest that victory and accomplishment and success into your life. So this is really big uh, showing up for you. All right, Taurus, what is your untapped spiritual gifts and greatest strengths? So untapped gifts, and let's just pull one more for greatest strengths. Thank you, Spirit. So untapped means that you're starting to tap into it, but you haven't fully embraced it at 100%. Uh, Queen of Cups, this is your emotions. This is that energy of opening yourself up to that emotional level of complete feeling for what it is that you do, complete love for what it is that you do. It's also a very intuitive uh, energy here. The Queen of Cups, she's highly sensitive. She's highly uh, supportive. She gives great advice. Now she can be very intuitive. She can be a nurturer. She can even be a psychic, a tarot reader, or in the caring profession, a healer. Now, whether this is on a professional uh, st stance or if it's in a personal, in your personal life, what I'm sensing is that you're opening up to your intuitive abilities by listening. Not only do you have double seashells here, what do you do when you get a big old uh, seashell? You put it up to your ear, you listen for the waves, right? Uh, this is about you listening to that inner feeling, that inner gut feeling here. And uh, the Queen of Cups is something that you will embrace in this lifetime to its fullest here. You will be able to fill your own cup first uh, now you're also embracing some sort of caring profession where I feel like you're not only helping out others, but in return, it's helping you out as well. So right now, if you feel like you want to switch careers, if you want to maybe do something on the side, 100%, instead of maybe going back and forth, whatever your situation is, Taurus, you're going to have the opportunity here to go wild. I love this. 
your greatest strengths. Oh, you have two of them. Wow, you have the page of wands. So your greatest strength is your enthusiasm, your curiosity for life, for your magnetized energy where everything that shows up, you really want to learn about it. And it's it's a, a sense of wonder, so to speak. You have that sense of childlike wonder within you, Taurus, and that's what keeps you young at heart here and the knight of swords also is about you taking action when you find something that really is magnetized something that you set your eye on you go towards it here and that's what your greatest strength is and i feel like whether it's career whether it's leadership whether it's your ambition your energy health goals love money whatever this is here for you this is saying don't take your eye off the prize but keep that sense of wonder because that sense of wonder is really going to Bring about a lot of um, a lot of happiness, a lot of success. Now, when you're able to combine that heart, Taurus, with that logical thinking, is when you're really going to find that things start to magnify for you. If you want to create more finances, if you focus on that, it will magnify. If you want to create more love by opening up your heart first, you're gonna see that the attraction and the love that you have between others, not just in the romantic or intimate sense, but love in all forms, is going to be magnified back to you here. So I really love this showing up as your greatest strength. Now the other piece of that strength and that spiritual gift is to keep your heart open. What is your main card here? Unleashing your kindest self. That Queen of Cups is very, very kind, but she knows that when she uh, the key to her success is keeping her heart open first, okay? And that's what you're doing here. All right, let's take a look and see what messages your spiritual team, Taurus, has for you. Now, this is your guides, your angels, loved ones, pets. Uh, this is your team, your helpers. We have here, you are not alone. We have serenity. We have a dream talk. Let's take a look here. What else do we have for Taurus? We have choices and we have synchronicity. Okay, we have a couple of the same cards that Aries had and you also have Aries with this Emperor energy. So if you have Aries placements in your chart, you may want to check that reading out as well. But it says here, you are not alone. So it says, we are here for you, Taurus. We never left. Through all the sadness and loneliness, however, you cannot sense us near you or feel how much love we are sending you. We are your family, your friends, your guides. You never walk alone. We walk right beside you. So whatever that 10 of swords energy was that was showing up earlier, whatever difficulties that you've had to embrace or endure, Taurus, know that you're not alone because sometimes it certainly can seem like you're walking this lifetime on earth here by yourself, but you are not. You have a beautiful spiritual team that loves, that supports, and that wants you to succeed and for you to feel that sense of fulfillment fulfillment and wholeness. That's what that world energy is all about. We also have serenity. This is about you bringing more peace to your life. This is about you bringing balance as well. The most important relationship that you can have is with yourself. Hello, Queen of Cups. This is a time to honor, nurture, and love yourself more by seeking out and removing any negative feelings and emotions that are left over from yesterday. Don't let past issues and resentments interfere with your serenity today. So yeah, whatever happened in the past, know that it happened to teach you a soul lesson for your soul to evolve, to grow, to transcend here, to bring more peace and light into your heart. And sometimes, sometimes we need to go through those challenges to break our heart wide open because that's when we can be completely raw and vulnerable. And that's when we can really learn and grow and connect with others. But there's a sense of tranquility and peace that I sense here, Taurus, that you will be bringing about, especially over the next three to five months for you. But do pay attention to your dreams. Now your guides, your spiritual team, your loved ones may be really trying to get your attention through your dreams, especially when we're really busy in this waking life. Sometimes the only other time for spirit to get your attention is through your dreams. And it says your subconscious constantly and subtly speaks through your dreams. It's just one of the many ways in which your soul and those here in the spirit world can reach out and communicate through signs, symbols, messages, and so much more. Pay attention to the colors. Pay attention to the animals, the objects. 
uh, the type of vehicle, the type of transportation or rooms that you are in, and then do a little bit of dream recall or research into dreams. Uh, dream interpretation. You can actually discover and uh, un uncover a lot of subconscious energies through dreams. We also have choices showing up here for you. Uh, even though I don't see any twos uh, right away here, I feel like we possibly will in the um, in the energy to keep on moving is to make positive choices and we'll clarify here shortly but it says when you ex accept responsibility for your life and the choices you make you begin to tap into the power of your own spirit you'll be able to listen there it is there's that listening card remember it says you'll be able to listen and appreciate the intuitive wisdom that's inside you and apply it positively and constructively to your outer world that's exactly what we talked about with this queen of cups energy here so your untapped gift is for you to choose and appreciate that intuitive wisdom that you have within and then apply it to your outer world it doesn't have to be a profession it can be uh, just your personal life as well and then lastly synchronicities things are aligning perfectly for you to set you up for that leadership for career some of you may have a career in technology or you may be utilizing maybe the computer. Uh, some of you with the world energy, you may be reaching people on a global level. You may be working from people from many different countries. Uh, you may be traveling the world or you may be reaching people on a global level. Uh, Whatever is happening for you, it's big, okay? And the synchronicity here, are you noticing the signs of synchronicity, Taurus, that the spirit world has been sending to you at this time? People and situations in your life are not just appearing by coincidence. In reality, they're being guided to you from spirit world to help you for a specific reason. So do pay attention to the signs and symbols. And this also, like it says here, it can be through your dreams. It can be through, uh, you know, through dreams, through signs, through messages, through billboards. It could be a song. It could be a radio ad. Whatever is going on, do pay attention because I feel like the more you connect to that intuitive side, the more that you're going to speed things up and quite quickly as well. All right. Let's take a look and see what energy you need to keep this momentum going. What energy do you need to keep on going? Ace of Swords, beautiful. Ace of Swords energy. Keep that aha moment going. Keep that um, keep that energy of understanding and clarity. Find that truth in the logic. Okay, this is about finding solutions to any problems or any barriers that have stopped you. This can be about making sure communication is effective. Make sure that you are making decisions. Even though this isn't the two, this is a very important for unlocking, for unlocking um, the challenges or obstacles that especially in the sign of Aquarius, the full moon's in Aquarius, which is an air sign. This is air energy as well. So use that logical mind to the best of your knowledge, but then incorporate your intuition. That's going to be the key here for you. So I like this. In order for you to continue moving forward and to keep that momentum, keep curious here. Stay curious and continue finding solutions to those obstacles. Trust your logic and your intuition. Let's get one more card to go with that Ace of Swords. What else do we have here? Wow, you have the sun. Taurus, this is beautiful. The sun is an energy of positivity. It's the energy of abundance, happiness, success, good health. Don't wait for that rug to get pulled out from underneath you. Don't expect the worst to happen and don't catastrophize anything here. This is about enjoying the blessings that are coming your way because they certainly are. This is about letting go of the old. Whatever happened in the past, it doesn't define you. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't mean that you have to sit in that energy any longer because you have blessings coming in and quite beautifully for you. I love this. Ace of Swords with the Sun. Wow. All right. Let's see how you've grown during this cycle. How have you grown? Three of Wands. You've expanded. You've expanded your opportunities. You've expanded your mind, your growth. The Three of Wands says that you have made a choice. Now you're waiting and returning, uh, taking a look at the return on the investment here. You're staying optimistic. You know that your patience and hard work is paying off. You're not taking your eye off the prize because I feel like your ships are coming in here, Taurus. You realize that something that you've been wanting to manifest is finally taking form, taking shape. 
So don't lose that momentum. Don't keep your eye or don't take your eye off the prize. Beautiful. Let's see what steps you can take to continue growing. What steps can you take to continue on your soul's journey? Double ace energy, ace of pentacles. This is it. Beautiful. Brand new beginning in career, in maybe your home life, buying a new home. This can be about the spiritual or even material world here. Good news and health, career, money, home. Most importantly, it's unlimited potential in prosperity. You have that sun card in, the, in your reading. You have the ace of swords. You have the emperor, ace of pentacles. I mean, whatever is going on in your energy, keep on doing that. Go deeper, stay kind, and go wild because you're going to hit that home run here and it's going to fly out of the ballpark, out of the, I feel like, universe. You're shooting for those stars here. And there is a big transformation happening in your life for the better. Ace of Pentacles energy here is definitely about your wealth, career, success, and abundance. Some of you are getting a bonus, a gift, or inheritance, a brand new job. There could be money coming your way, a windfall. Something big is happening here for you. And I absolutely love this. So in order for you to continue growing, keep that beginner's mindset. Stay open to... Uh, opportunities that are coming your way. And I certainly see more than one opportunity, Taurus, coming your way. Last but not least, we're going to take a look and see what additional action steps you can really ask your soul at this time to help you stay in that energy of abundance. All right. What passion am I ready to pursue? And it says your passions will continually lead you to your purpose. What passions have you put to the side, given up on, or buried? What passion is ready to come alive in you? Today's Soul Action Taurus, write a list of the passions to which you want to give life to right now. Then journal how you can incorporate more of what you are passionate about into your daily life. Trust your soul's whispering and let your passions draw you towards your dream life. Absolutely. This is your dream life. You're definitely ready to go wild. You're going deep. I feel like you're making a huge shift. And uh, it's because you are finally, you're ready. You're ready. You have that world card. No more setbacks. No more feeling stuck. And last but not least, wow. Definitely, I feel career, leadership, ambitious reading here for you. What do I believe about money and do my beliefs match my dreams? How does your relationship, Taurus, with money affect your current situation? Do you believe you are worthy? Do you believe you are capable? Do you trust money and does money trust you? Money is an energy. It ebbs and flows. You are worthy of it and it is your responsibility to heal your relationship with money as part of your waking up to the whole of you and your purpose. Today's soul action, take a deep dive. Oh my gosh, look at this, go deeper. Take a deep dive into your belief system around money. Are there any beliefs you need to upgrade to create the results you are wanting most in your life? Write out your money story. Is it time for a sacred shift? What will your next chapter be? Fill in the blank. I am grateful to money because blank. So uh, if anything, I really would love for you to jot down these soul truth questions. And I want you to really dive deep, meditate on this, ask yourself, really get down to that soul uh, of your beliefs. This is going to transform your life in bigger, better ways for us than you could have ever imagined. So if career if ambition, if leadership, uh, if technology, if this is something that's on your mind, I mean, it certainly can be health relationships and other areas as well, but specifically those that la land in that 10th house of your career, take a look at the money beliefs. You're going to see that things switch. It's almost like the off on switch of, wow, how is this really happening? The more that you focus on this, the deeper you go, the more kind that you are to yourself. And uh, there's, they're talking about forgiveness as well. Some of you may, may need to maybe forgive parents, forgive experiences of the past. That Ten of Swords energy, it may have been painful. Maybe that's what you need to kind of forgive or move onward from. But it's time to go wild. Do what it is that you want. Chase those dreams and tell yourself, I'm all in. All right, Taurus, that's what I have for you. I certainly hope it resonates. Beautiful reading. 
If so, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. It certainly does help get the Divine Channeled messages out there to those that need it most. Feel free to share, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell button. And I am sending all of you wonderful Taurians tons of love and light. Till next time.